Hey everyone, welcome to Blueprint Reading One Online. My name is Alan Paulson and I will be your instructor for this course. So what I thought I would do is make a brief tutorial on how to navigate through my course, how to log into Blackboard and get to my course, how to submit assignments in my course, and so on. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get to the Blackboard site. So this is how I do it. So I'll do a quick Google search and I will just write in uh, Western and what will come up is our Western Tech Colleges uh, website. And then it's given you some options here. I like to do this. I, I'll hit the current students uh, tab right here. And what that'll do is that'll take us right into our website. Um, and it's already highlighted there for you. So what you guys want to look for is this black bar down here with the locked symbols on it. And we're going to go into our Blackboard site. And so I want to click onto the Blackboard tab. So what happened is that brought me directly into Blackboard. What you guys will have to do is in order to do this, you'll have to set up a username and password. And you will most likely do that when you register. Um, you will be given a student uh, email account with uh, you know, a username and a password. And so that's what you guys will use to log in. So what you'll see when you log in is a list of your courses that you have signed up for. So these are my courses. These are all of the courses that I'm teaching. And so you're gonna be looking for Blueprint Reading 1. So if you'll notice here, I'll have um, Blueprint Reading 1A group or B group. Um, all that simply means is one group, the A group starts in the summer and the B group is the group that starts in the fall. So that just helps me keep, um, you know, things from being complicated. So depending on what group you are, you will have your course loaded. So let's just say for this example, we're gonna go into Blueprint Reading 1A group. So I'll just click that. And what that'll do is I'll, that'll take you right into my Blueprint Reading 1 course. So you'll see this banner in my name and so what I'll do here is I'll get into the student view. So this is what you guys will see when you click onto my course. All right, so what you'll notice now is you're going to have some folders in here. Getting started with Blackboard video. So that's what we're watching right now. You'll have a plans folder. So I'll just click in here and show you really quick. Um, these are all the plans that are going to be associated with this course. So they're already in here. I have a little video on how to open the plans and how to navigate around the plans um, when we're looking at them. All right, I'll go back to the assignments. So that's the plans folder. And then each week's content will be loaded in folder form with an agenda, okay? So the week is seven weeks. And so consequently, there'll be seven folders, as you can see, all right? And within uh, the weeks, let's just look at week one. So the agenda says it's from September 9th to the 14th. So that's one week's worth of content. I have a little banner here. It says, please watch week one welcome video inside this folder. So every week I'm gonna have uh, video content in here, which is me basically explaining um, some of the key points of each week and demonstrating some concepts with the plans. So it's a tutorial, it's a how-to video. So you're gonna watch that first. Um, I also have a key takeaway in week one, which is something I want you guys to do. And so let's just go back. And then within the uh, week one, after you've watched the video, it's just telling uh, um, you guys what I expect you to do for the week. So it's read units one and two, and I explain what those are. And then below that, there are a couple of assignments that are due for each week. So in this particular case, we're gonna read our units one and two, and then when we're done and we're ready, we're going to start our assignment. So we're gonna click on the week one assignment link and complete the question. So there's 15 questions and the assignment's worth 30 points. The other part of the assignment is we're going to be writing a journal. Um, it's just a small paragraph describing a couple of key points that you've learned for the week. So here's how you would um, access your assignment. So I'm ready to do the assignment, let's say, so I'm just gonna simply click in week one, 
and I'm going to look for the week one assignment. So it's pretty simple. I have a little description again here. I'm just going to click the link and I'm going to go and I'm going to hit begin. Um, you will notice there's some instructions here on what to do, but basically um, you're going to just go in and you're going to answer the question. So let's just do one as an example. Question one, who acts as the owner's agent while the building is being constructed? Well, if you've read the material, um, you would uh, be able to answer that. So I've got four choices here. Well, based on what I've read and the notes and the resources that I have within the folder, I'm going to select architect. That's the right answer. And then what I would do and get in the habit of doing is just save the answer. All right. Now, that's going to allow you to just keep working on the questions at your own pace, saving them as you go. And let's say you don't get done. Well, you can just save all the answers that you have, and then you can go back and you can work on it like the next day or a couple days later. And so that's how that works. And this is set up, guys, so that you can, you can take this as many times as you want for the desired grade that you want. So there's really no excuse to get a horrible grade on this. Um, just just do the work and you'll you'll be fine. So take it until you get all the questions right. All right. So that's the first part of the assignment. I'm going to leave here. I just got to get out of this. Yeah, I'll hit cancel. And then the second part, um, guys, is the journal. So week one journal entry. So how does that work? So each week you'll have a little journal to write. So it says the directions are please write one small paragraph describing a couple of things that you have learned after reading and reviewing this week's content. This journal entry does not have to be very long. However, it should be clear, concise as to let me know that you have actually learned something. So we're going to create a little journal. It's worth 10 points. So here's how you do that. So what you want to do is go up to this create journal entry tab and you're going to just click on it. And so individually, you're going to create your own journal. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll just give it a title. Um, you'll just type in week one journal entry um, or whatever it is that you, you want to use. I'll just say week one journal. So that's good. And then what you're going to do is click into this text box and you're going to just type in whatever um, key points you want. So you can say something like this week I learned and you, you just write that and then when you're done uh, writing make sure it makes sense and it's not some rambling incoherent uh, paragraph um, I'm not looking for a you know a, a 15 page report but make sure that it makes sense and then hit post entry or if you're working on it and you want to like go back and look at it later hit save entry as draft all right these are um, individual submissions nobody else sees these so um, don't worry you know i am the only one that's going to read these all right so that's all you do for that so those two things are what i'm asking you to do for the week and that's pretty much it and then you're going to keep going and you're going to go from week to week to week and look for you know any announcements that I might have or any other information, but you're simply going to work your way through until you get all the way to week seven. Now I do have due dates on on these uh, weeks, and I want you to know like if you, I'm not going to um, penalize you if you're late, and I'm also not going to penalize you if you work ahead. But what you will need to do is you will need to complete all the work by the end of the course, okay? So the other uh, few things that I want to show you is this left-hand side here. So the first, there's a bunch of categories. So the first uh, one is the announcements. The announcements is something that I will do. And so if I want to get some information to all of you as a group or as a class, this is uh, the tab. Uh, that I will use and what what will happen is you will get a notification through blackboard and you will also get a email to your student email so I would suggest that you make it a habit to check your emails and so that you're not missing any important information this assignments tab this is where you will always land when you click onto our blueprint reading one site 
and that's going to give you all of the week's information and uh, enable you to submit your assignments. Contact information, uh, probably the most important one would be me. Here is my contact information. And then the rest of the contacts here are other resources that you guys can use if you need to. All right, there's all kinds of them here, Learning Commons, Services, Student Health Center, Career Services. So these are resources here for you uh, as students here at Western. Um, I think the most important one would be the My Grades tab. So when you guys uh, click that tab, you're going to see individual grades posted here. And you're going to see all of the week's content in here. And you are going to know exactly where you stand for your grade. So you're going to see the total points, which is how I uh, grade my courses. So it's just total points. You will see the percentage that you have at that particular time. And then you will see the letter grade. So there is no reason why you, know, you should have any questions on what type of grade you're getting, provided that you're checking your grade. So check them. I would check them daily, but every week uh, at a minimum, okay? The tool section, um, I'm not going to show you a ton of stuff in here. The only thing I would show you is if you want to send an email, you can go in here and hit this send email tab, and that will take you into uh, the part where you can email me. Or you can just go up to my contact section there and just click my email address. The syllabus I will um, explain and you're welcome to read. Um, it's going to give you the grading information and the schedule for this class. And then lastly, I have a discussion board set up. And it's a questions and answers discussion board. It says use this form to post general questions about the course material, assignments, or any technical issues. If you have a question, please read all the posts before posting a question or emailing your instructor. Now, I, I am not doing this to sound mean, like I don't want to answer questions, but what, what would happen in a lot of cases is students might have questions posted on this uh, discussion board, and it might be the same question that you have. So, you know, it would be worth your while to come on here first to see what's posted on here. And then uh, if you see something and it helps you, fine. If not, you can actually post a question yourself. And just to let you know, I, I read these and I will go in here and help out too if you guys have questions. So this is uh, kind of a general thing that we can use as a group uh, to convey information and get information out there. So that's why I have it set up. Uh, it can be a very helpful tool. All right. So that's, that's pretty much, um, you know, how you can navigate around my course. A um, couple really quick things, you know, in order to be successful in this course, it just requires, you know, discipline and effort, right? So, you know, if, if you're anything like me, I'm a, I'm a task-oriented guy. Um, I would break this course into just some manageable chunks. Um, that's why I have it set up in weeks. Um, you know, if you want to work on it a week at a time, that's totally fine. Um, if you want to do two weeks at a time, two chunks at a time, that's fine. You know, whatever fits your style. But what I would recommend you didn't do is just kind of blow through this as quickly as you can. Because what's going to happen is you, you will not retain the content and you won't be able to um, very easily, like, navigate and pick out information on the plans. And then if you do happen to pass the class, you're, you're gonna be moved on into Blueprint Reading 2, which just gets a little bit harder. And I'm not gonna tell you that you can't do it, but um, I would take the time to learn the basic concepts in this course first. It's really, really gonna help you in the long run. So, you know, just break it up into manageable chunks and you get out of it what you put into it. Just like, just like anything in life, you know, you know, the amount of effort that you, you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. So blueprint reading is an essential skill in the trades. And, you know, knowing how to read one is, is really, really important. It's going to help you guys succeed in, in this trade. And it's going to help you have a, have a step up 
to um, climb that ladder, right? Um, so that's my two cents worth. So you guys, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. Uh, you can call me, you can email me, you can use the d discussion board, but I'm here for you and I want each and every one of you to succeed. So with that being said, have a good term, have a good course, have a good class, and I will see you soon.